championship title fight of the FCFX. There have been two wins already by Brave Legion tonight. And now their third and final fighter comes out to the cage. Mr. Luis Inguez, cornered by Pat White and Rick Story of Brave Legion. He comes in at five wins with no losses. Six foot one, winning at 169 pounds even. And he is here tonight to take home the championship title to his town of Vancouver, Washington, Trent. And here we have Malibu Tank Morris. Seven wins, two losses, five foot 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 168.5 pounds. Trained by representing Team Quest. He comes to us from Oregon City, Oregon. Call it Macaulay, take a white booty. Fuck the fuck the police. These niggas know they know me. Put these water rolly. Niggas ain't brody. Hoes got them trippin'. Cuffin' like cufflin'. Don't know where her tongue be. What's it in the fuckin' scene? I don't care what the bitch think. I just know one thing. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Oregon State Athletic Commission, this bout is for the FCFF Welterweight Championship. First for the fighter standing in the red corner. He's a mixed martial artist coming to us tonight with an undefeated record of five wins and no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at an even 169 pounds. Trained by Pat White and Rick Story, he represents Brave Legion, fighting out of Pasco, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Luis Edney. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He's a wrestler coming to us tonight with a record of seven wins and two losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 168 and one half pounds. Trained by and representing Team Quest, he comes to us tonight from Oregon City, Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome, please, Malibu, Jake Morris. Your referee in charge of this welterweight championship is Kelly Whitlock. And he goes out of the red corner. He is wearing the black right, board guys, for the belt. Have a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them now and let's do it. Morris out of the blue corner, he is wearing the tidy black and whiteies. Trent, I am so excited for this fight. It's time to touch him up. Hey, it's Team Quest versus Brave Legion. It is two of the very tip top competitors in the 170 class. Both very aggressive fighters. Aniguez, hard body shot. Hard body shot from Anigra. Morris is a great wrestler, but we've seen before, Heather, he does not like to get hit. He keeps running into Luis's hands though, Trent. Morris gets in on Aniguez. Body lock. Aniguez against the fence, trying to fight it off. And Morris gets a takedown. Body lock takedown by Malibu Jake Morris. Morris in half on top. And Negres on his back, almost in his own corner. Yeah. 
Morris tries to posture. Throws a right hand blocked by Negrez. They train very hard at both gyms, Team Quest and Brave Legion, and I have no doubt that both these guys are very comfortable where they're at regardless. Like we said before, these are the two top gyms, not only in this region, but possibly in the world. Halfway through round number one. Aniguez gets back to his feet. And now Morris has his butt on the cage and he reverses it. Aniguez has a heavy hand. Aniguez has a left hook that you gotta watch out for, Heather. Jake does not want to stand with him. Morris comes in and pays for it. One minute left here in round one. Morris comes in, right, left, comes short. Aniguez comes in, hits the body again, uppercut. Morris into the hips of Aniguez. Aniguez stands up in his own corner. Morris goes for knees, deflected by an egress. 30 seconds. An egress lets his hands go, body shot. An egress wants to stand with Jake. An egress has that left hook, we just saw it, Heather. We did. We've seen that left hook knock out three people. Short time. An egress bobbing and moving. End of an action pack, round number one. Wow, Trent. Wow. Well, listen, well, Heather, I don't know if Aniguez won that round, but I'll tell you what he did do. He landed a lot of body shots to Malibu Morris. He landed a lot of shots up top to Malibu Morris. Malibu Morris took him down two, three times in that round, and every time he got back up, that really messes with the wrestler's head. He's got to be asking himself, what do I have to do to take this guy down and keep him down? He's landing big shots. I don't know who won that round. I believe if you go by damage, and Negrez won the round. Round number two. Both of these two ultra athletes, they will go full speed all five rounds. A Negrez starts to walk in. Morris going backwards. Morris high kick. Morris comes over the top. Aniguez throws that big right hand, locks him up. Big punch. Morris is stumbling. Morris shoots in. Morris tries for a Superman. This is incredible to watch, Trent. We're just seeing it back and forth, I mean, like crazy. You got wrestlers, but you also have, I mean, strikers, and neither one of them want to get hit by the other. Morris is in a good spot now. He's got a body lock, drugging Niguez down. He's in Niguez's corner. Niguez landing shots from top. Morris climbing up the body. Morris now jumping on the back of Aniguez. There we go, Aniguez faces him out in back center of cage, Heather. Aniguez straight right hand off the chin of Morris. Morris goes to kick and pays for it. Morris shoots in Halfway again. Halfway through round two. And he goes, stops the shot, Heather. And he goes, now landed shot. Morris is stunned. Morris goes down front corner. And he goes, uppercut, land. Morris is going back. Morris goes down. This is your main event, everybody. Morris. Cuddled up in his corner. How much more of a beat can he take? Reverend Kelly Willock looking close. He's about ready to stop it, Heather. 
and Ingram's laying on, big punches, and that is it. The Negroes become the new 170 pound FTFF champion. I think it's safe to say that Brave Legion puts out winners. They are an incredible school, like I said before, world class. They don't put their guys in the cage till they're ready to win belts. And as you saw tonight, all three have won, and two of them went home with belts. Referee Kelly Whitlock has called a stop to this bout at 2 minutes 13 seconds of round number two for your winner by TKO and new FCFF welterweight champion, Luis Luis, congratulations, huge victory. You stay undefeated, but more importantly, you got the belt around your waist. Great night for Brave Legion. What's going through your mind right now? I'm excited, I, I worked hard, so it paid off at the end. It absolutely did. Jake's a strong wrestler. Did you work on the re wrestling defense, take down defense a lot in your training? Yeah, wrestling is a big part of uh, MMA, so we train that a lot. What's next for you at this point in your career? Um, having quite decided, maybe one more, or I might just go pro in November. Well, you did a great job tonight. Congratulations. Fight fans, put your hands together for your new welterweight champion, Luis Aniguez.